Hey, what's up everyone? This is Miracle MS at your service, presenting to a new episode of Captain Spasa Rise of New Champions. It's no secret that Rise of New Champions is full of secrets. I mean, just look at my channel, it's full of videos about the game's secrets. So let me throw another curveball in there. None of the characters you unlock at the beginning are at full power. They're all missing something. Whether it's a move or a skill, you need to unlock it for them by completing certain conditions that were never specified in the game. Let's start with the most basic version, the Rank Up cutscenes. Every player in the game, including the DLC players, will unlock a new skill during their Rank Up events. The only exceptions are Tsubasa and Kishida, who will learn a new move instead of a new skill. Tsubasa will learn Drive Pass to replace his Curve Pass, and Kishida will learn Shark Tackle, which replaces Desperate Sliding. For middle school exclusive players, you need to get them to rank C Friendship from the third league match, which is against either Soda or Jito onwards. You can't activate rank up events in the final match of middle school. The middle school players, who also appear in junior youth, will unlock their new skill when you get them to rank B Friendship from the third scrimmage, which is against either Victorino or Robson onwards. The junior youth exclusive players will unlock their new skills at rank B as well, but you need to get them to at rank from Netherlands onwards. Again, you can't activate rank up events in the final match of junior youth. This is the full list of all the skills that players will unlock in the rank up events.
Upon starting the game, many people just skip Episode Tsubasa and just go straight for Episode New Hero, thinking that they don't want to start with a beginner level. What they don't know is that not only is Episode Tsubasa a great introduction to help you start playing the game, it's also where you unlock four of the hidden shoots in the game. Nita's No Strap Running Volley Falcon Shoot, aka Star Falcon, can be unlocked in the match against Otomo. After Nita fails to use No Trap Falcon Shoot twice, let Otomo send another long pass to Nita. This will unlock a dad that will also permanently unlock Nita's Star Falcon Shoot. So does Reverse Razor Shoot, aka Star Razor Shoot, is another hidden unlockable shoot. From minute 40 onwards, Soda needs to have the ball in Nankatsu's side of the field. But that's not all. Nankatsu needs to score at least one goal and Soda must have already used the razor shoot at least once. This will unlock another dad that will permanently unlock Soda's star razor shoot. The third one is the Hirado combo shoot, aka star banana shoot. Let Jito shoot with Sano in his path and they'll perform the Hirado combo shoot which will permanently unlock this shoot for Sano as well. The last one is miracle driver shoot. On the finals against Otomo, score a goal to tie the game to go to extra time. Then let Tsubasa lose the ball on Toho's side and get the ball to Ishizaki. This will unlock yet another dad. However, this is only half of the condition. In order to use Miracle Drive Shoot yourself, you need to unlock Tsubasa's Neo Drive Shoot in the new hero mode. I'll get to that in a bit. The new hero mode is a giant gold mine of hidden moves and skills. Aside from the rank up events, there are also extra events and special mid-match events that unlock hidden moves and skills. Starting with extra events, Kojiro and Sawada can learn the Toho Twin Shoot as well as Toho Golden Dew when you get them both to rank D in middle school, before reaching the finals. There's also the Skylab Twin Shoot extra event you can trigger. Get both the Tajibana brothers to rank A before the match against Argentina. At halftime against Argentina, you will end up unlocking Skylab Twin Shoot for Masao, Kazoa, and Jito. Now for the mid-match events. There are a surprising amount of stuff you can unlock there. Starting from the third scrimmage, Tsubasa unlocks the Nankatsu Golden Duo along with All Japan's Twin Shoot with Misaki. Then in Italy match, Kojiro unlocks No Tiger Shoot when he has the ball in Italy's side of the field in the second half. After that in Netherlands, Mizuki can unlock Skyrocket Volley by completing story challenge number 3. When the score is drawn in the second half, while Wakashimazu, Misaki and Kujiro are on the field, try to dribble or tackle Clivort using Mizuki. Then activate your visa. This will trigger a cutscene that unlocks Mizuki's super shoot. In the next match against Senegal, Matsuyama can unlock the Wild Eagle shoot by completing story challenge number 5. While Kojiro and Soda are on the field, score on Senegal in the second half. Then, while Senegal's V-Zone is still active, pass the ball to Matsuyama. This will trigger a cutscene that unlocks Matsuyama's super shoot. In case you missed either Matsuyama or Mizuki's cutscenes, don't worry. By activating their last cutscene, which is their rank S cutscene, you will unlock their super shoots in the rank up events. Now for the match against Argentina, get the ball to Tsubasa in the second half and Tsubasa will unlock no driver shoots. I could be wrong but I think you'll unlock Miracle Driver Shoot once you reach the finals in junior year. Speaking of unlocking super shoots in Argentina, in that same match Diaz can unlock Miracle Bound aka Star Miracle Overhead. Let Diaz use his super shoot in the second half. He needs to use his super shoot at least once beforehand in order to unlock Miracle Bound. Once you reach the finals, regardless of which route you pick, shoot three times each shoot reaching the goalkeeper without scoring. Twin shoots will be counted as two shoots. By doing this, you will unlock Nail Drive Tiger Twin Shoot for Tsubasa and Kojiro. If you score before unlocking this move, you won't be able to unlock this shoot anymore. Speaking of finals, there is one more move you can unlock in the finals against America. Let Ryan or Blake shoot in the second half and have your goalkeeper stop the shoot. Once you do that, both Ryan and Blake will unlock Justice Blake shoot, the best combo to shoot in the game. As there are different starting routes for new hero mode, there are also exclusive unlockables for each route. On Musashi route, Honma unlocks a new captain skill, Desperate Resolve. On Forano route, Matsuyama unlocks a new captain skill, Hanjin's Last Stand. On Ankatsu route, Ishizaki unlocks a new captain skill, Gutsy Plays. 
On Otomo route, Uraba unlocks a new captain skill, Overflowing Force. On Hanava route, then Tajibana brothers unlock a new combo to shoot, Skylab Triangle. And that's it, all the secret moves and skills you can unlock for your players. If you want to see more Ronin's F New Champions videos, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all next time.